Corporate Enrollment for Retirees. Brought to you by the Hawaii Employer Union Health Benefits Trust Fund, or EUTF. Did you just receive a COBRA packet from the EUTF and are you curious about what it's for? Is it dependent on your retiree plan about to lose coverage? In this presentation, we will go over some important information on what retirees need to know about COBRA. COBRA enrollment packets are sent to active state and county employees covered under EUTF plans upon retirement. This is because active employees on EUTF plans switch to EUTF retiree plans when they retire. The active employee EUTF plans must be canceled the day before retiree EUTF plans can take effect. Because the active EUTF plans are being canceled, a COBRA qualifying event is triggered requiring the EUTF to send COBRA enrollment packets to newly retired employees who may want to continue active EUTF plan options on their COBRA. Retirees who enroll will be responsible for 100% of the premiums plus a 2% administration fee. COBRA enrollment packets are sent whenever a dependent experiences a loss of coverage due to a change in their eligibility status. Dependents reaching the plan's age limits, losing full-time student status, or dependents losing eligibility due to divorce or legal separation. The EUTF will send you or your dependent experiencing coverage loss a COBRA packet, which includes a cover letter with important information on your COBRA event along with individual COBRA election forms for each EUTF health plan you are enrolled in. A COBRA election notice pamphlet outlining important COBRA guidelines and instructions and the EUTF monthly retiree COBRA rate sheet. The cover letter provides you with your COBRA notification date, details on your COBRA qualifying event, your period of COBRA coverage, the deadline you must reply by in order to enroll in COBRA, and a statement advising that the COBRA election form is not a retirement enrollment form. Please note that as long as you reply on or before the deadline, COBRA coverage will begin the day after your previous EUTF coverage ended with no break in coverage. COBRA election forms allow you to enroll in or waive COBRA continuation of coverage with each plan having their own individual election form based on your current EUTF plan options. These forms are to be completed and submitted back to the individual carrier of the plan and not the EUTF. Forms must be submitted before the submission deadline indicated on the upper right hand corner. If you are electing COBRA continuation of coverage, do not submit payment with these forms as you will be billed by the carrier once your COBRA election form is processed. Under Part A, please indicate if you would like to elect COBRA continuation of coverage or if you would like to waive COBRA coverage. If you would like to enroll in COBRA continuation of coverage, please complete Part B and select which coverage tier you would like to enroll in self, two-party, or family. Under Part C, indicate your contact information, and under Part D, please sign and date the form. Keep in mind, you will need to do this for each COBRA election form in your packet. The EUTF Monthly Retiree COBRA Rate Sheet shows you the cost of your COBRA plans. You can only select COBRA plans according to the COBRA election forms in your packet. Plan changes are not allowed. You can make plan changes during the COBRA open enrollment period held normally at the same time EUTF retirees have their open enrollment period. You will be notified by mail when open enrollment will be. COBRA plan premiums are 100% retiree paid plus a 2% fee to cover the cost of administering the COBRA program. Once your COBRA election form is received by the health carriers and processed, you will be billed for plan options directly from the carriers. Please do not send election forms or payments to the EUTF. Payment will be due to health insurance carriers. COBRA will be canceled at any time before the maximum period if premiums are not paid in full and on time. And now for a quick review. 
Once EUTF is notified of your termination, we will have your Cobra packet sent to you in approximately two weeks. You will be given an opportunity to elect or waive Cobra continuation of coverage by the submission deadline on the form. Individuals who wish to enroll in COBRA coverage will send their election forms directly to the carriers listed on the individual COBRA election forms. Carriers will process your enrollment and handle all COBRA billing. As long as election forms are received by the submission deadline, COBRA plans will take effect the day after coverage was lost so as to prevent any break in coverage. This has been COBRA Enrollment for Retirees. Please refer to the instructions on your COBRA cover letter, election forms, and COBRA pamphlet. We hope this information has been helpful and mahalo from the EUTF for your time and attention.